Hi, I'm Florence, and today we're going to look at converting fractions into percentages. In a previous video, we've looked at fractions where the denominator is 10 or 100. So we're going to look at some different examples in this video that are potentially more complex for pupils. So, first of all, we have 8 twentieths, and we need to convert that into a percentage. I've represented the fraction 8 twentieths by shading 8 out of my 20 squares. Remember, percentage means out of 100. So what we're asking is, if we have shaded 8 out of 20 and then repeated that pattern across my 100 square, how many out of the 100 would I shade altogether? And you could actually give pupils a 100 grid or square like this and ask them to repeat the pattern across. What they should find is that they will end up with 8, 16, 24, 32, 40 out of 100. So 8 twentieths as a percentage is 40%. And at this point, it's really nice to question pupils and ask them, what did we actually do to our original fraction in order to convert it to a percentage? And hopefully they can recognize that we made it into equivalent fraction, we made it out of 100, so we converted it into hundredths. Let's have a look at another example, which is 3 25ths as a percentage. And pupils could try now once they've used that 100 grid and used some visual um, representation, they're a bit more confident to do this in a more abstract way by simply converting it into hundredths. So using our knowledge of equivalent fractions, we know that in order to make 25ths to hundredths, we need to multiply by 4. So we're going to get 12 hundredths. And so we can see that 3 25ths as a percentage is 12%, 12 out of 100. And that's one of the ways that you can convert fractions into percentages.